Hi, my name is Sarah Robinson. I work at Aarhus University um, in the Centre for Digital Media and Teaching Development. And I'm Klaus, Klaus Testrup. I work at the same place. And we are part of a project called the Seeds Project. And as you probably know, the Seeds Project has um, involved uh, practitioners from uh, preschools in four different countries um, and we were wanting to know if there was some way we could think about uh, developing a pedagogy for those preschool teachers that would help them um, embed and use digital technology in the way they work with their children. And it's been an amazing project thanks to all these amazing practitioners so we've got three elements to show you that together constitutes a seeds pedagogy. Are you ready? Here it comes. So this, this is the change maker pedagogy which we started to, by introducing to the teachers when, when we met them the first time. This is a pedagogy that is developed on, uh, on entrepreneurial learning and uh, something that is maybe different for learning is that the child or the student or the young person is at the center of their own learning. So that is why in this model we put me, the child, the learner in the middle and not the technology or the subject or whatever it is that's being learned. And what we want to the child to do is to, or the child is to do is to learn about themselves, about what they're able to do, but also to find out how creative they are, what their strengths are, and they will do this with other, other children, with their peers. So this is the next part of the change maker model, is that we focus very much on collaboration, sharing ideas, sharing questions, working together, looking at things together, going out and discovering something and finding out what that looks like. So maybe playing with the iPad or playing with a robot or playing in the woods and finding out what the insects do and then thinking about what does this mean for the life of the woods. So the next part of the, the change maker module goes into looking at experimenting. So what does this mean for my understanding of the things I already know and how can I experiment with things I'd like to know? This all happens in this iterative back and forth between what do I know, what do we know, and what is it we have discovered together. And finally, the children and the teachers together will be able to consolidate, which is what and we mean by that is that the, the children have found a new way of working, a different way of working that they hadn't realized was possible. And we know this from the, the work that the teachers have done in some of the kindergartens, for example, in Palermo, where they used the Obot, Ozobot and the children's bodies. And they used the robot to help the children understand the different parts of their bodies and how their bodies function. That was not something the teacher had planned to do. That was something that happened through the experimentation that they did together with the children. And what's the final one, Sarah? Value for others. Well, they've created value for themselves, they've created value for others, in that now they know what the Ozobot can do, but they might also want to experiment with what the Ozobot, what they might want the Ozobot to do. Can it, where can it travel to? What does it mean that it follows different colored lines? What does it mean for the way that their bodies work? Does this the way that, that their blood works inside our bodies too, that it travels around inside us? So it gives the children a, a different understanding of what value can be created through using technical te technology. And in order to do all of this, we needed to set up something that we call the experimenting community, which I think Klaus is going to tell you about. Mm, Klaus, that's me. Yes, and here it is. Well, you see to the left here, you have the preschool teacher looking at, observing a group of kids inside a process using digital technologies or analog materials. The teacher here is not part of the process. The teacher here mainly tells them what to do, 
how to do it and when to do it. But there's another possibility when you go into a change maker pedagogy where you experiment together. Because an experimenting community is that the community consisting of kids and preschool teachers experiment together, all of them. That means that the preschool teacher also asks questions he or she does not know the answer to in advance and also has an interest in finding out how an Osobot or a B-Bot or an iPad works and what it can be used for. You see the uh, Sarah, you see this strange infinity thing here? The symbol, yes. The symbol, yes. And the point of that is that it's an ongoing process where everybody learns from each other. It's not only, if I may gay again, it, the knowledge and the questions do not only come from the preschool teacher, but it also comes from everybody in the process, kids and preschool teachers alike. So what's, what's happened here? Mm. is that the teacher doesn't stand outside the process as the expert who knows all the answers but inside the circle as having an expertise in the same way as the children have an expertise about climbing, about being able to uh, put model things or put, use their hands or to draw mm. or whatever it is that they're good at. Yeah. So everybody inside the circle has some expertise that is recognized. Yes. And that's the, the kind of work that we were asking the teachers to think about. How would, they, how would they create experimenting communities with their children in the classroom? And it resulted in four questions that one could ask when one works with the technologies. And we just give you a little bit of these questions here. So this is um, part of what we call the seeds pedagogy because when yeah. we looked at what the teachers were doing with their children in the experimenting communities, we found that there was different phases mm. of learning this process to become an experimenting community. And as Klaus has just said, this process is driven by questions. Mm. And the questions are very different at each phase in this process. Mm. And the first question might be this one. What can these technologies do? You get a B-Bot in, you, you try to find out what it is, how it works, what, it can, what you can use it for. So that's a basic, important question, of course, to find out what a given technology can do. And it's a way of building up the child's experience and knowledge about, yeah. for example, the Ozobot or the B-Bot. What yeah. can it do? Yeah. But, as you already can see, there's another question in here. What else can these technologies do? It means that you ask a question, now I found out what it seems like the B-Bot is good at. How can I, in what else a way can I use it? What else can it be used for? outside, inside, wherever it is. But that's not enough. Because the next question is where the community, the experimenting community comes uh, more to life, is the question, what do we want these technologies to do? So there's a group of people, kids, grown-ups, who together tries to find out what they want to use it for. And the final one is this one. What else do we want these technologies to do? Because there's a group of people who wants to find new ways of using these technologies. So there are four phases into this. And you can't start with that one. What can these technologies do? But you can at any point, the kids enter any kind of question depending on where they are in the process. But this one is of course important because here the experimenting community in a change maker pedagogy actually starts to operate for real. So in the end the seeds pedagogy is about asking these very open questions where we do not have the answers, the teacher doesn't have the answer, the children doesn't have don't have the answer. But everybody wants to find the answer to the to the question because it's something we, we are interested in and that's the way we are creating value for ourselves and for others is finding the answers to these questions. And this is something we need to teach our children to do if we want to be, let them be able to problem solve in the future.